Hello everyone, I'm bringing you another video and in this video you're seeing my 6th DNA bomb and like the previous one, it's on comeback. I like comeback because it's a fast paced map. Unless you're in that middle room and camping with whole your whole team but it's like a fast paced map all around because people are trying to flank and get B on the beginning this was a laggy game but it got better um, it, it got better I think it got better don't know anyway wait no this game was like impossible to play because everyone was lagging like shit man everyone was lagging so hard it was so easy for me to get a DNA bomb you only have to like pay attention a bit where everyone is and you're yeah that's like one nice thing about laggy games but yeah it was we were playing this super slow actually it was like it took us like 10 minutes to play one half one half of domination that was like insane lag that's that's not even normal anymore you see that my aim was so off that can only happen when when a game is lagging like impossibly hard or else you won't see me missing my shot you know this DNA bomb, I got it the day after my fifth DNA bomb. I got three DNA bombs in that weekend, I think. Don't remember, actually. Well, doesn't matter. And there's one thing that I'm so mad about. I don't know why um, Sledgehammer did it. I don't know what they were thinking. But the ASM1 is nerfed again. It doesn't have... 45 bullets in its clip, but it has 35 bullets in its clip. <laughs> I had to think there for a bit. But what were they thinking? Why? Why 10 less bullets? That does nothing, and I'm pretty mad about this because I'm so used to the ASM1 with 45 bullets. So when I'm shooting, I'm like, no, I have to reload already. Damn it, didn't expect that. You know that feeling like Hey, what happened? Ten bullets mi ten bullets last. That's why? Why? Can someone explain to me why they did that? Okay, but let's stop raging about the ASM1 nerf. Which I actually can I think I have to go to therapy for this because I I really don't I don't understand why and there's one thing else that I wanted to talk about and that was black ops 3 black ops 3 is revealed you can pre-order it that's awesome I think I'm going to pre-order it because I I'm really excited and I'm actually yeah, I'm quite done with the Exos right now. I just want some simple Call of Duty game. Good old Call of, Call of Duties. I really... I miss Black Ops 2. Oh my god. Maybe I'm going to upload some Black Ops 2 videos. I don't know. And sure, Exos were fun. Were fun. At the beginning, you know? It was something new was like a fresh dive you know like a shower when after a hard day of work it was like almost like a relief that it was some something else you know it was like everyone was excited yeah this game has exos and you can fly with them and but there were some people already back then <laughs> look at that I had to shoot my whole clip <laughs> But there were some people already back then 
Who thought Axos? What the fuck is Call of Duty thinking? And actually, the most people um, are now thinking like, man, they were right, you know? And Axos are actually, Axos are not fair at all. You can't turn people easily. You can do nasty exo suit tricks to get kills. You can your exo suit can save your life. I mean, when you're in a private match, you're playing against bots to like um, warm up your aim. So you have no aim assist on, you know. That's for like practicing your aim actually, and you're shooting at the bot. You hit one or two bu two bullets, and then he does this exo shield ability. And every time they do that, I rage my head off. That's that's so not fair. Exo shield, you can pull it out anytime you want, super fast. It's like you don't need. Um, assault shield anymore you don't need it anymore you have exo ability exo shield that's so stupid you know I don't hate this game I love it actually I love it I love this game but sometimes I'm like damn what the fuck are these exo movements why how are these things possible you know in the game you're shooting at someone he's doing like all these extra movements you can't hit him you just can't that's so weird and that's nasty that's just not fair i was really excited about black ops 3 well i am still very excited but I was searching for these videos and like there are a lot of YouTubers that have already played Black Ops 3. They have already played it. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. But they have to know then if there are exos or not. So I went to a video of one of these YouTubers and they said there are no exosuits. But, and I was like, oh no. Here it goes and but you have like these humans that are actually robots because we put robot stuff in them we can operate them to remove organs and put robot stuff in there that's just very very I would never do that I would never go on an operation to become a better superhuman or something like that by putting robot parts in me. Would you do that? I, I wouldn't do that. I'm I'm proud of my body and I I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but but there is air thrust and air thrust is a little tiny boost of a half second which is pretty slow in any direction you want. And there's sliding, which you can boost also, just almost like Advanced Warfare. But when you're doing this boost, you have to touch the ground, and after a half second, it uh, starts to recharge this boost. So, I think you do a boost completely, okay? Then you wait... A half second and it starts to recharge and then you're doing another boost I think that's how they meant like they have like this this bar and it's like recharging almost like system hack you know when that like yeah okay. so this uh, is black of three I'm very confident in Triarch because they said that uh, they know what our expectation expectations are of the people who are playing these games 
And I hope they just make another lovely Call of Duty game like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 and other games that they made. Triarch is a good developer. Good, good. Triarch is good. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And, oh, there's one thing else that I wanted to show you. Look at this DNA bomb. I called it in and it took like 20 seconds before it went off because that timer is lagging so bad look at this the flash 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 saw that laggiest DNA bomb ever Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and maybe you learned something of it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.